Yo, what's up guys? John here again uh, with another how-to. Today I'm going to go over how to um, weatherproof your garage. So right now I have huge gaps in between my garage door when it comes down. I have huge gaps between this and my garage door and the water's getting down at the bottom um, through this weather stripping because it's bad. It's letting a lot of water in when it rains heavy. Uh, and that's why you've seen all this water uh, well, this leftover water that's on the ground right here. I swept a lot of it out. So, water's coming in, it's pooling, and uh, when it rains, real heavy. So, I'm gonna go ahead and weather strip those, and I also need to replace some of the wood because it's dry rotted. So, I'm gonna be replacing this, this uh, one by six right here on this side and then over there I'll be replacing it on that side too. This side has been replaced before I bought the house so I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, I mean other than that yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I bought to weatherproof it. Um, I went and bought some new Frost King uh, bottom door seal um, bought it at Home Depot um, and then that's for the bottom and then for the sides I bought this PVC um, uh, weather trim it has the PVC uh, wood like trim and then I attached to it molded to it is uh, this flexible um, like vinyl like uh, stripping that forms to the garage door so you butt it up you know like so and you get it in there and you press it against the garage door which I'll show you here later so I'm gonna go ahead and get what I need to get off and that's the uh, the wood that I'm replacing I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and then I'll be back all right uh, so I got the uh, two end pieces off I can see you know it's now open I'm gonna measure and cut these to the length that I need for both sides. That's the wood. I'm just taking the scraps up to the curb so that the uh, trash guys can take it. And uh, I'm gonna cut these uh, one by sixes to length and then get them uh, nailed to the frame and then I'll be back. Whew. Okay, I got my boards cut. I cut off the two ends up to, I cut it to seven feet, quarter inch. And I really need to get myself some type of a uh, saw. Um, because this little thing is not working. I mean, I cut, but it took forever and it was tiring. So, that's that. Um, just a little tip when you're putting your boards on, you want to put your treated end because the board is pressure treated, and uh, you want to put that uncut end at the bottom because that side is sealed and now the cut side is not. So, cut side at the bottom because that's where it's going to see the most moisture. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some nails, um, you know, just kind of lightly tacked in there a little bit. Uh, that way I could set it up in there and then just hammer without having to hold it there hold the nail and then hammer all at the same time so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then get these boards up and then i'll be back yeah all right back again uh got my boards on i left about a quarter an inch to a half inch of a space just to keep the water away from the wood um, so yeah, I got those on. Now I can start measuring up and putting on my trim pieces. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And uh, I'll be right back. Actually, no, I'm not gonna be right back. I'm gonna stay here. Um, so first off, you're gonna want to, what is it? Uh, close your garage door. So I'm gonna start with my wife's. I'm going to grab my pieces. I'm 
As you can see, I have a pretty nice gap there now. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is going back and getting a uh, those uh, trim pieces that I ended up taking off um, with that board. So I'm going to need to get some more of these. So I don't think that this is going to be a good enough seal that I'm looking for. Yeah, I don't like that. I want it to be closer to out here. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go run to Home Depot and I'll be back. All right, back from Home Depot. This is what I ended up buying. I bought some um, one by twos. Uh, they kind of have like a beveled edge just to give it a, you know, a little bit more better characteristic look instead of just a straight. So that's what I bought. Bought two of those to go on the edge of those and on the over there to close up that gap before I put on the weather stripping to close up more of the gap. So I'm gonna cut these down to what I measured the other boards at and I'm gonna cut those down real quick and then I'll start uh, mounting the uh, weather stripping. All right, so um, got these cut. I'm gonna go ahead and nail them in and then, um, and then I'll start mounting my weather strips. All right, all right, guys. Uh, all right, guys. I um got the screws, you know, kind of pre in there. So what you want to do is butt it all the way up to the top and push against your garage door. You know, enough to this flexes, so you want it to be enough to where it has, you know, some to bite on. Um, some to bite on, you know enough so that it presses up against uh, the garage door evenly and it'll make a nice good seal so I'm gonna go ahead and get these screwed in and work my way down um, and then I'll start with the other side and then do the top so once I get these in I'll uh, get the top and I'm gonna have to cut the top because it's nine feet and these are only eight feet across so I'll have to do that in a second so I'll get those uh, mounted up and show you what it looks like after I'm done well, unfortunately, this is as far as I can get to today. I was able to f almost finish one door. I uh, got the uh, trim pieces up. My uh, drill was, battery was dying, so I wasn't able to drill in all the screws. But um, as you can see, uh, you know, pretty pretty tight. When, when I, after I get everything screwed in all the way, I'll put uh, some, uh, some of that white sealant caulking uh, to seal all the gaps and whatnot. So you do it along like right here, right in this cre crevice, this crevice, up in here, you know, down there. And then I also have the a new uh, seal for the bottom as well on the door, so. I'll finish that tomorrow. I have all the supplies, so I should be able to knock it out pretty quick. So I'll finish that, and I'll be back tomorrow. All right, it's the next day, and back at uh, finish up these uh, weatherproofing these garage doors uh, I already got uh, my wife's sides weather trim already uh, screwed in all the way uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, slide this uh, bottom weather seal piece out and uh, put the new one in there's a track on here that this actually uh, slides in, so I'm going to pull it out from the side, just pull it out this way, and then slide the new one in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull that out, and then um, I'll slide the new one in, and then that's how we'll be done. And then, well, I mean, other than the uh, then cocking it and whatnot. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change that bottom weather stripping. All right, uh, I got the bottom, new bottom door trim piece in, the weather stripping for the bottom. You see, 
Got that in. Now if it gives you any trouble, um, when you take the old one out, make sure to uh, wipe out the, any crap that's in the bottom uh, so it makes it a little bit easier. If you're still having some issues, well even if you don't have issues in the beginning, before you start, just make sure to spray some like, just some, you just need some soapy water. I just use glass cleaner. That's what I had laying around. So you just, I just sprayed the track before I put it in. And it helped it slide through really easy. Um, I left about an inch hanging over on the side. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I got about an inch hanging over on the side. I'm gonna fold it and then tuck it back in to just to leave it a little bit room for when it, you know, spans and contracts during the hot and cold seasons. Um, and same for this side, left about an inch hanging over. I'm gonna fold it and tuck it back in. So, um, I'm gonna finish this side. And then once I'm done with this side, then uh, I'll move on to my side. I'm gonna get the weather stripping uh, screwed in over here. All right. I'm gonna knock that out and then I'll be hitting my, up my side. All right, all finished. Um, got everything. You know, got the weather stripping up all along. And the new weather stripping on the bottom of the door. So it makes it good to seal at the bottom. Uh, caulking's all in there. Uh, so yeah, if you're doing this by yourself, um, just make sure to check and see if you have any rotting wood at the bottom, like like I said before and I showed you before, you know, I had uh, this board right here was rotting and so was uh, the other two boards that were on top of it were rotting as well. Uh, so I replaced that board and used another small piece. And then the same with this side. Um, this is something that most people can do themselves. Uh, hopefully this video helped you help show how you can do it yourself. And, uh, you know, little things like this around your house can be done by yourself. I mean, even big things around your house can be done by yourself. You just have to take the time uh, to learn how to do it. And hopefully this video has helped show you how to do it. I know I didn't go in detail step by step, but I did show you and tell you what I was gonna do and then showed you that I did it after I've done it. Um, other than that, uh, hopefully, like I said, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please press that like button and subscribe if you already haven't subscribed. Uh, there's more videos like this to come, like uh, I'll be building my own fence soon around the backyard because it has a chain link one now. And uh, I'll be rock remodeling the bathroom and doing plumbing and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys how to, I mean, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. So this will be a first time experience for me too. So, but I'll go through the motions and hopefully everything goes good. <laughs> Life stuff, you know? All right, peace out guys. Well, before I get too far um, away from the garage, I just wanted to show you my side once it's down and show you what I mean by like weatherproofing your garage. Um, before I had like big gaps in between the original stuff that was uh, here, which is actually still there, I just added this uh, extra piece. You can see how it folds onto the garage door. That's what you want it to look like. So, all the way around, along the top, and all the sides. You want it to fold, and it kind of gets a good, nice good up there against there. <clears throat> and I got a new uh, weather stripping, so it makes a good little seal. I put extra caulking. Um, to go up against to fill in this little gap so water doesn't try and sneak by. Um, I did that on each side so the caulking sits and pushes against that caulking on the bottom and makes a, a seal all the way across because there's going to be a little gap here. So I just put extra caulking there. Uh, it will dry and form and then when the garage door goes down it will seat against that and basically make like a little bam so if any water does try to get there it kind of just stays there and doesn't come into the garage.
All right, hopefully again, this video helped you. Uh, you know, hashtag live stuff. This is live stuff. <laughs> All right, peace guys. Tell me, tell me, tell me